Things are changing. Welcome, magical people. I am Mark Zillman. Yes. It's no longer Zillman's Wizarding World. Things have changed a little bit. Um, I thought, well, you know, I usually start the year, have a flip around anyway. Uh, I've got a new logo now, uh, just my name as a thing now. Um, make it a bit more personal, I thought. And along with making things a bit more personal, I thought I'd actually kick off uh, proper community stuff because I've got a Facebook page, now I have a Facebook group, and never really started a Discord because I can't join everybody else's. So I now have a Discord. Now, in order to launch this Discord, uh, I am also launching the Harry Potter and you kind of community interactive story. Now, the way this works is you are a person, obviously, uh, going to Hogwarts at the same time as Harry Potter. Now, if, you <laughs> now, if you've ever done a choose your own adventure book, it's kind of like that. But instead of you choosing your own adventure, we as a community, well, not me, because I wrote it. The community votes for a one of four or five options, depending on how good I feel at the time, at the end of each kind of chapter. And you get to pick the way the story goes. Now, let's just work in parallel with the Harry Potter story. OK, so our first one is the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone and our story runs in parallel with Harry's. So the decisions you make influence whether you kind of, for example, a bump into Harry in Diagon Alley. You may bump into him there, or you may not. You may go to a different shop, who knows. So the choices you make kind of influence. So the choices you make influence the direction of the story as it goes. So I go to read to you the first installment and uh, at the end, just vote for what of the options you choose and you'll get the idea. Link to the form for voting it will be in the description. And also, don't forget to go on Discord as well uh, for the updates as they come out. Now, also, as it goes along, I will reveal what the other choices would result in at the appropriate time, because sometimes I can't do it immediately, basically because you will get an insight into something else that's going on. But as we go, uh, the Discord will be updated with what the options would have given you. Um, so, you know, I'm not missing you around. So anyway, chapter one. This one is called A Knock on the Door. So it's summer 1991, and you have enjoyed a rather rare sunny day in the south of England. You have just turned 11, and it's the summer holidays. There's plenty of leisure time. Probably a little too much. You have played with your new presents and spent the afternoon with your friends in the park. You feel a little warm at the back of your neck where you've caught the sun. A bit but not nothing serious. Things are a little boring as another night sets in. You and your parents are watching a soap opera on the TV. You're pretty much just staring at the screen in your own world. It's rather boring as the trials and tribulations of old people don't really hit home. Your mind wonders as you think about the new school year. A new school is on the horizon. Most of your friends are going, but you'll be in the first year again, and being in the lowest year is rather intimidating. You wonder how strict these new teachers are going to be. Are they as bad as the rumors suggested? Or were your friends just trying to prank you? Suddenly, there's a knock on the door, and everyone looks at each other. This is strange for a number of reasons. One, being that it's 8pm, and as far as you know, this is an unexpected visitor. This seems to be confirmed by the weird looks flying around the room. Secondly, there is a doorbell. Why are they knocking? Being somewhat younger and less invested in the TV than your parents, you decide to go to the door to see who is there. After all, it's probably one of your friends anyway. You open the door to find a strangely dressed lady towering above you. She has a rather serious look on her face. What do you say? So this is the bit where you get to choose one of four options. Option number one, hi. <laughs> option number two, call for your parents. Option number three, can I help you? Option number four, and you are. So those are your four options. They will have consequences. As you can probably tell, there are quite different responses. And you can probably guess who's at the door. So anyway, there you go. There's your choices. Go down to the description below and vote for the one that you think we should do. Basically, it. don't forget to join Discord for all the updates because the story will be in hierarchical order there. And the what ifs will be there, which will tell you what would have happened if you chose different things. So yes, this is basically a fanfic we're writing together. And hopefully that will distract us from the horrible things we've had with Wizards tonight and uh, depression and all that rubbish. Let's uh, write our own Hogwarts Legacy. Speaking of which, if you're interested in Hogwarts Legacy, follow this channel as well. 
Also, another thing to mention is MagicalGamers.com. It's where Brita and I are doing our sort of written works. Brita, as you know, used to write for the Wizard Tonight Hub, which of course is kind of defunct now. We don't have the game. And I used to what, write for the Task Force Times, which is also defunct now because we don't have a game. <laughs> so we decided, ah, let's start our own website and talk about magical games we like. So obviously Hogwarts Legacy is going to be in there. Uh, probably going to do some Witcher content. And Hogwarts Mystery is another one. Uh, so between the two of us, we're going to write these articles. So if you go to magicalgamers.com now, there's a thing where you can register your interest because we want to get some content up on the site. When we launch it, we just don't want to give you a blank page to stare at, which would be boring. So uh, yeah, around about a month's time, we think that will take us to get it going. But yeah, you can register your interest now and then we'll let you know when we go live. Which is tonight is over, but we are not. So take care. Don't, 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 don't,